Good day, everybody. Welcome to Purposive Communication, or GE4. I will be your instructor for this course. Let's know about your instructor first. So here I am, and my full name is Emil Isaac Arconde. You may just call me Sir Mil for your preference. My email address is eiconde.urdaneta at psu.edu.ph. If you have some concerns or any other things that you would like to ask about the subject, you may drop by a message to me anytime. However, that doesn't mean that I will be able to reply to you immediately, as again, I am still a person who needs sleep. My consultation time is during Thursdays at 8 to 10 a.m. On this time, you may be able to quickly message me for all the concerns that you need to address to. Moving forward, let's start with a quick quote. Respect begets respect. So if you want it, you show it. Everyone in this class will be respected much as I will be respecting all of you. So if we want respect to emanate in everybody, I also want everybody to show the same. Now, let's have first a quick course description of purposive communication. This subject is about writing, speaking, and presenting to different audiences and for various purposes. It is a three-unit course that develops students' communicative competence and enhances their cultural and intercultural awareness through multimodal tasks that provide them opportunities for communicating effectively and appropriately to a multicultural audience in a local or global context. To sum it all up, again, this course shall fully help you in terms of communicating across the globe. Wherein again, we are training you to be globally competent individuals as PH unions. Now, for the course requirements, there are at least four that I would like you now to remember. The first one will be the examinations. Of course, I want you to pass your quizzes, your midterm, and final exams. Later on, after this slide, I will also be showing you the grading system wherein you could put this in your mind so that you will know how to track your records. Next would be the projects. So I want you now to also deliver oral reports and submit projects. Examples of these projects will be the term paper, portfolio, and etc. Next would be the activities, which I will also be sending to you through the assignment tab or in the middle of our discussion. So please take notice and always observe our class discussions as I will be giving surprise activities. And finally, here we have attendance and participation. So I want everybody to participate actively in class discussions. The two words are very similar, but not really the same. Attendance is when I see you do your activities or when I see you in class, but at the same time, participation also demands your recitation during graded recitations, and other things which I might be asking during class. So again, if a question is raised, I want you to give your best efforts in answering the question. Now, let's now go to the grading system. The final grade or your final grade is computed as the one half of your midterm grade plus your one half of your final term grade, wherein your midterm grade or your final term grade, any of the two, is equals to exam, which is the 40%, your participation and quizzes, which is equivalent again to 30%, and your asynchronous activities, just the same 30%. So 40, 30, 30, and a total of 100%. Now, let me give you now some quick class rules on synchronous meetings. Since not all of the time we'll be meeting, because there are also asynchronous meetings, this is only for your synchronous meetings as well. For my first rule, if anybody gets disconnected from their internet connection, just come back to the class, okay? So you don't need to wait for my signal to let you in. So again, it is also your responsibility to come back to class in case we get disconnected. However, there are cases wherein internet connection in our places get cut off, so which is why 
in those cases, that's the proper time for you to send a message or you just inform me in case there are problems in reconnecting to the internet. However, if I myself get disconnected from the meeting, wait for me to come back and or wait for further instructions as again, internet connection is not everybody's friend right now. So we all understand the worries and troubles that the pandemic has brought onto us. So let us not add burden to each other. And for my second rule to everybody, allow a person to freely speak when called. As again, avoiding unnecessary noise. Again, we all know what unnecessary noise means. But then again, there are instances where we cannot avoid the noises in our environment. So again, as much as possible, let's try to clean up the sound within us. This shall guarantee our respect with everyone's communication. Again, as what I said earlier, respect begets respect. Now, for your syllabus and instructional materials, all of these references will be provided as well in our class teams, all right? Now, in the exception of some materials where it might be hard for uploading on class teams, they can either, either be uploaded on YouTube, maybe on the Google Drive that we call it, or any other platform that we can use. But again, most of the time, the instructional materials or even so, my slide presentations will be provided in our class teams. And so if you have reached this part of the orientation, this will now be our activity or the first activity for the subject. So I want you to provide your own understanding of the word communication. Please put your answers in a PDF format for easy access. Of course, for cell phone users, you may download applications where you can use uh, Google Word or Google Docs rather, or even the Microsoft Word for your reference. Or even so, the WPS Office is also a good application for your assignments. So again, please put them in a PDF format. You can actually look into the app where you can save it in a PDF format. Submission will be through the assignment tab for the subject. Again, you may look on to your application on MS Teams for you to, again to locate your assignment tab. The activity shall serve as your attendance for the week. But again, please take note that attendance differs from participation as it also needs timely recitation from you. The deadline now for our activity will be on October 6, 9 a.m. That is a Wednesday. So I will be expecting all of your works, and I hope to see you soon in class. Good day, everybody.